Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm up, Bobby. I hear ya. Good morning. And welcome back to Miss Survival. How you doing, Bobby? <laughs> what time is it anyway? 7.43. Ah, you're late. I told you to get me up at 7.30, dang chicken. Yeah, yeah, don't talk back to me. Anyway, welcome back to Miss Survival. It is, like I said, 7.44 in the morning now. Day four. And, uh, yeah, we're picking up kind of sort of where we left off here after the end of the last episode. What did I do uh, over the weekend? It's been a few days since I played nothing, really. I think it just got a little organized. Um, I do remember that we had put up this drying rack. It looks like, ooh, it looks like all the meat, meat's dried. The animal guts are only 21% dried, but check it out, guys. We now have lovely beer jerky. And we're gonna put this uh, up on the rack. The stuff was on the ground. <laughs> so now we have some space and we have some lovely dried and salted beer jerky. Um, should we eat it right now? We don't really need it. Well, let, yeah, let's go ahead and have it. Let's have a little bit. I mean, we spent all that time working on it. And yeah, it's very salty. That's the only thing that makes you kind of thirsty, doesn't it? Um, and I'm pretty sure this is the last of our water. Oh dear. Well, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and have that one too, and then we'll drink a little. And then, obviously, today's priority is to find some water or something to drink. Anyway, it would be great to get a, um, a distiller going. So that's probably what we're going to work on today, because that is the end of it. All the bottles is empty, and we don't have anything over here either. No cokes or morning Mountain Dew, etc. So yeah, today we're going to go and fill up that bucket of water. And let's bring up our crafting menu. We can make a water purifier right here. Well, that's going to take the bucket, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's going to consume our bucket. But we can make a new bucket, pretty sure, on a workbench. Um, yeah, we can make up a workbench today, too, if we have time. But I think the water is a priority. And uh, maybe we'll find a workbench. Maybe we'll find another bucket. So, yeah, we shall see. What time is it? 821. Um, you know what we should do? Let's make a shield. So this is a new item. A wooden shield made with planks and nails. And we have some nails. Don't we? Let's grab a hammer. Yes, we have nails right here. And we got some planks. So I'm thinking we should make up this new shield and give it a whirl. 30 minutes. All right. Craft it up. There we go. It's shield. All right. Now, how do we equip it? We can drop it. Maybe put that on the left hand. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then bring it up. Oh, oh boy, look at that thing. Right right click, yes, right mouse, and uh, it holds it up, just like Minecraft. <laughs> Good, because I'm used to that. And how about a weapon in the hands at the same time? Oh, no, 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 no. That does not work. Let's bring this back up. And I guess we can use maybe a knife? Oh, yeah, sure, we can use a kniffy. Um, but unfortunately, we can't use a spear. Oh, we can't use a spear and a shield. Oh, but it's a, you swipe it instead of a stab. You can still stab with one hand. I was going to say we could be like a Spartan. But it's more like a, a swipe instead of a poke. Um, but we can always go back to two-handed. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Bring up the spear. There we go. Or throw it. Okay, we have lots of options now. But check out that shield. It's huge. So my guess is that's going to block um, incoming attacks, right? From whatever. Uh, zombies and bears and crazy redneck chickens. Go ahead. Give it a try, Bobby. Come on. Peck. Peck. Scratch. Do something. Anything? Nothing. All right. Bobby, you're in charge of yourself. That's right, of yourself. Um, so let's go. Should we bring some food? I don't think so. We have this canned fruit right here. We'll probably find some food out there anyway, is my guess. So let's get rolling. Um, yeah, that barn right there is the one we have not been inside yet. And hopefully there's not a whole lot of zombies inside. If there are, we'll have to clear them out, but we got our new shield here. So that should help. I see water down there. Is that water or is that a road? Ooh. Um, yeah, we could fill up our bucket with water, but we're going to need this bucket to make the water purifier anyway. I do want to pick up leaves because we need lashings. We need lots and lots of lashings so we can make this thing right here, the drying rack, which requires six lashings. And the lashings require six bark and eight leaves. So, yeah, that's a lot. So let's keep our eyes open for that. Anywho, let's go check this out. Oh yeah, the shield's gonna be amazing. Um, 
Got the back door here. I don't hear any sniffling or snuffling. Ooh, what the heck's going on? I can't get in here. Okay, we're in. Check it out, guys. This place is empty. There's no infected here. <laughs> Fantastic. And it looks like it's the same kind of layout as the other one. So we have the upstairs here. Uh, a balcony here and a balcony over there. We'll go check it all out. Let's see if there's anything on the ground here. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. All right. We got some uh, some scrap. Because you never can tell what buildings are going to have um, loot or not, right? I'm going to turn that light off. I actually installed a program that someone recommended in the comments when I had mentioned how dark this game is. It's called Gamma Panel, I think is the name of it. Um, it's really old. I mean, it's like a nine-year-old program. I think it came out in like 2010 or something. <laughs> it's pretty ancient, but it's, uh, it's just a little app that runs down in the tray, and you can increase your gamma, you can increase brightness, so I did all that. You can even save little profiles. I made a profile called Mist. And it looks, it's a little brighter. I don't want to go too bright. Because the sun is going to rise and then it's going to be even brighter. But uh, I'll play around with that and try to get the, the right balance. Yeah, let's hit up here. Yeah, no infected up here at all, which is very interesting. But there is good loot. Oh, look at the little particles falling down. That's cool. Oh, we got a suitcase. Gloves. Ooh, gloves are new. And a candy bar. Sweet. Oh, look at this. Another SWAT helmet. We already have a helmet, don't we? Yeah, we do. And that one's not in great shape either, but let's put those gloves on. Awesome. 100% gloves. And we're going to grab this. Oh, can I pick it up? My hand's full. There we go. And just toss it over the side. And yeah, we'll get that on the way out. Just don't forget it. <laughs> don't let me forget it. Up here, nothing. All right, let's go down the other way. We do need stuff to drink. Oh, what is this then? A cola. Woohoo! Fantastic. All right, well, that is going to hydrate us. And we have a chocolate bar. I'm not going to drink it right now because we don't, we don't need it right now. Oh, batteries. Can't open that up. Um, in fact, why don't we go back down and use that suitcase? We'll fill it up with some stuff. And then we can come back and pick it up on the way back. When we pass through here on our way out. Because there's a lot of stuff here and we're going to do a little more exploring. And we don't really want to carry all this stuff around. So let's just transfer this over. Okay. Now let's bring this out. Put it here in the road. Um, although we came in on the other side, didn't we? Alright, that's alright. We're going to come back here and grab that stuff. I don't want to leave it behind. Let's check out the front here. Oh, look at this. There's more stuff here in the front. And all these piles of garbage. We do not want to pass up the garbage. We need it all. Oh, yes. Scrap metal, indeed. And we're going to go back in because I have a feeling I didn't get everything. In fact, there's another loft over here, isn't there? All right. Up we go. This is the other side. And this one, does it have any loot? Oh, yeah, more candy bars. Nothing on the shelves. Oh, there's stuff over there. Okay. But let's make sure we don't miss anything. We'll go right around the world. Check all the nooks and crannies in particular. So a boom box there. Oh, revolver ammo. Oh, revolver. That's a, new, that's a new gun. I don't remember a revolver in the game before. So check it out. We got some meats here, and we got some fruit cans, and we're going to eat this chocolate bar right now eat two of them actually create a little space we'll eat all three chocolate bars all right chocolate bars for breakfast it is the breakfast of champions we just need a mountain dew for a real redneck breakfast uh shotgun shells oh gas can fantastic we can fill this up with gas and pour it into the cars when we get a car we can drive it around and we can also siphon gas now from vehicles that have any gas in them. Should we encounter one? We haven't yet. Let's see if there's anything over here. Let's climb up. Oh, look, 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 I told you. Every nook and cranny. That is a backpack upgrade. Plus two slots, baby. Sooner or later, we're going to get all of these um, unlocked. There's that many of those things hanging around. We just have to locate them. I think we got everything here. 
So let's uh, let's climb on down. Check the first floor one more time. A quick cursory look. All right, quick run around. Let's see, can I get up to the roof? Doesn't look like it's pretty darn high. I bet we can break that down. A wheelbarrow. Oh, what's this? A shovel? Oh, we got a shovel. Oh. So what do we do with a shovel? I guess we can use that in agriculture. Farming. Farming is new in this new version. The latest update added farming. So I'm wondering if we can use a shovel as a farm tool. Oh, I wonder if we could just use it as a weapon. Let's see. No, no, no. It's just a it's just a tool, just like the hammer and the saw. So you have it in your inventory and uh, you'll be able to do some digging, it looks like, because you can't can't put it in my hands. I tried. Okay, guys, just grabbing all the rest of the loots. Went all the way around the barn or warehouse, whatever the heck it is, and found pretty much everything, though it looks like I missed a couple of pieces of scrap here. But that ought to... Oh, jeez, man, that stuff is so hard to see. It's camouflage, that metal scrap, but I, I definitely, we definitely need it. So I don't want to miss any. All right. I think that's everything, so let's roll out. First, let's put this stuff away here. Now, I think we can go. So, let's grab our little suitcase and move out. We're going to go this way. This is toward this dirt road here. And I'm thinking we're probably going to come back this way eventually. So, we'll leave the suitcase right here. And we'll go explore in that direction. And then on the way back, we can pick up our suitcase. Right. Right. Let's do it. So we're just going to go over here. And I think that's a big road. Is that a road or a river? It's a road. Ooh. Got a dirt road here. And then an actual asphalt road. And it looks like this is a dead end. Yeah, that's that's clearly a dead end. That part of the map is not complete. It may never, ever be complete. I don't know. But clearly, we don't want to go that way. So let's follow the road in this direction and I don't know what direction this is because I don't have a compass and I don't see the Sun so what time is it anyway by the way 1123 no mist so far which is interesting we didn't have it in the last episode did we so I'm actually hoping we get it today because I want to try this speed uh, the shield I'm gonna walk in the woods and keep my eyes open for leaves because we need like I said we need lots of leaves but, oh, oh, whoa, 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 big old building here. You know what we need is like a garage with a bunch of, um, with, uh, car parts. That would be amazing so we can get a car going. Yeah, we do have to look into the woods here because sometimes you'll find shacks and sheds and little cabins. Um, oh yeah, here we go. This, I do believe this one will have some infected up on the second floor. Sometimes you see this particular model of uh, building in the city and there's infected up on the second floor. I don't hear them though. So they're probably not up there. Do we need the bottles? We don't really need the bottles. Not yet. We're not going to get into brewing for some time. Much to uh, Bobby the redneck chicken's dismay because he loves a little bit of whiskey. But we don't really have everything we need to make the whiskey just yet. All right, let's well, let's go inside and see what's inside. Can we get in here? Oh yeah, we can. Perfect. And I don't hear anything nasty snuffling about, so we should be all right. Good, 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 good. So it is good. Unfortunately, it does not stack. Yeah, this is some kind of little office building here on the side of the road of uh, nowhere. <laughs> not sure which community they were serving way out here. But uh, it is what it is, and here it is, and there's a toilet. You can't get water out of the toilet like we can in Canada. Unfortunately, no uh, fine Canadian lemonade here. Let's go up to the second floor here and just have a peek inside the window. Nothing. I guess we're clear. Let's bring that shield up just in case. Oh, I see bullets. Grab them bullets. What do we got here? We have a riffle ammo and more rags. Um, what do we need? We need matches to light fires. We're down to two matches. I'm pretty sure we can craft matches on the workbench, though. Um, I think with a stick. Can I grab those batteries? Yes. 
I think it's just a stick and charcoal to make matches. So we got we got to get a workbench. And maybe we'll find one. And if we don't find one, then we'll just craft one. But I'd rather find one than we can save our materials and time, you know? All right, I think we got everything here. Uh, can, can these be destroyed? Oh, I punched it. Oh, look at... I do have, uh, I have gloves on. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I like those gloves. For some reason... Right, there's my axe. Okay, let's see if we can break it down. I don't think we can break down TVs. All right, fine. Let's get the shield back up. And... Oh, we can do shield and axe. Oh, that's fun. Oh, I like it. I'm not so sure the, sh the axe is a very good weapon. Um, but maybe with the shield, it'll be better. I know just on its own, it's not very good. Let's see what's in here. Anything? No backpack upgrades. That's too bad. Place is empty, but it makes it. This is a good place to hide out if the mist rolls in, at least. Oh, here we go. More bullets is over here. Revolver ammo. Man, I want to find the revolver. That's, um, that's a new gun. Alright, let's go. I guess we'll just keep going up the road. What do we got here? Oh, that could be a garage. <gasps> oh, guys, I think I see a garage here. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That could be car parts in here. Maybe even a workbench. Oh, okay. Keep your fingers crossed. And your toes crossed. And your mud flaps. There's a car right there. But it doesn't look like it's operational. And I don't hear anything here. Really strange. Like, where's all the infected? I mean, not that I'm complaining, of course. <laughs> What do we got inside? Nothing. No car, no engine parts. Yeah, this is a drivable vehicle. I mean, it could be drivable if we fix it up, but clearly it's not drivable as is. Uh, what can we drop here? E just drop the plank, I guess. I'd, I'd rather have the rag than the plank. We can make planks easily enough from chopping down trees and then sawing the logs. All right, let's go inside, and hopefully there is a workbench and or car parts. Uh, plenty of scrap. Oh, is that a workbench? That is not a workbench. Dang it. There is a lot of scrap here, though. Oh, my gosh. Uh, we're going to have to drop some things. Let's drink a soda right now. We could use one. There we go. Topped off with the soda. And we need all this darn scrap, that's for sure. I don't see any car parts anywhere. Uh, oh, there's a cabinet here. What do we have here? We have... Oh, look at that. Shotgun shells and bullets. And you know what we can do? We can take this. Oh! What the heck? Uh, apparently there's two of them there. <laughs> We've got two of these little crates. And one stuck on top of the other. Look, oh, there we go. We got it out. Yeah, it looks like they spawn over each other. Now, are there separate loots inside? No. All right, this is great, though, because now we can transfer all this stuff in these crates and just put them outside. Yeah, all right, let's move them out to the road. Actually, we can open this, can't we? Oh, yeah, we can. Move these out to the road. And we will come back with a car eventually, <laughs> assuming we ever are able to make one. But without car parts, it's going to be impossible. There is a distinct lack of car parts. Unlike the old days when there were tons of car parts, it seemed like anyway. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to make a car at some point. Let's check all the drawers here. More rags. Oh, look at all the goodies there. Spare axe. I don't usually do the loot all because it, it does take time. It uses uses up a little bit of time. If you drag and drop, I don't think it does use time. Um, we might as well grab the wood now because we can fit it. Grab these planks out here. No tires? No tires. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Oh, this car has gas. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, fill the can. It's not a lot of gas, but it's better than nothing. Here we go. Is that... Suddenly misty? No, okay. I thought I heard all the birds stop chirping. Uh, oh, gloves. Different kind of gloves, like driving gloves. Cool. And we need the meds. And I'm going to take those gloves, but we just have to make some space. So I will do a quick transfer job here. 
Yeah, I'm surprised there's not even a single, like a single Tyree around here. You know what I mean? Just one tire. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, you would expect a garage to have at least a tire or a battery or a spark plug or something. What else is up here? I don't see anything else nearby. Except for this truck. Can we open up a truck? I'm not sure. No. Can't open the back of the truck. Anything in the front of the truck? Nope. It's just for decoration. That's about it. Oh, there's a little camper down here. Um, alright, that leads back home, right? So we could go back that way. Oh, wait! Ooh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's the cabin? Oh, wow! Guys, we could move here. It's a bigger place. And it has a nice deck all the way around it. Oh, that's a lovely, lovely deck. Does it? This one has a second floor, too. See, we can actually build these now. Right here. We can make, um... Hunting cabin one, two, and three. This is, I think this one's the second floor one. One floor, one floor. Even though it has that little room up top, I don't think it's accessible. This one, is it accessible? Let's see. Some of them... Oh, yeah. This one does have a way up to the second floor, so you could put, like, a bedroom or something up here. Ugh. Broken stairs. Uh, yeah. Check it out. You can put your beds up here. A nice little window looking out. Um, and these are pretty safe and secure. So what we could do is... Uh, might as well grab that feather. No reason not to. Um, I mean, if we do move here, we could put chicken fence up here. Yeah, this right here. Livestock fence and a fence door we could put right here. And the Zambies will not be able to get through that. They cannot open those doors. So we would be relatively safe up here. The zombies wouldn't even get to our windows to break them down. Oh, there's a suitcase right here with water. <gasps> Fabulous. Okay, I'm actually going to take those two things like that and then toss this over there. We'll grab that on the way out. <laughs> now, let's go inside. And by the way, you can make this a base. That's the whole point. And there's no zombies in here? That's interesting. There's nothing here. Oh, wait. Yes, there is. There's a kniffy. Ooh. All right, guys. Um, boy, here's what we're going to do. Let's transfer some things into this cabinet. Because we're definitely going to either grab the cabinet and bring it with us. Or just move here. So, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm going to put that knife here and take the good knife for now. Um, all that cloth we don't really need with us. The feathers. Yeah, we're gonna. I think we're going to move here. Um, once all of our stuff is dried, all the guts and the meats, back at our current base, we'll, uh, we can pick up that rack and bring it right over here. Um, hopefully we can fix up a pickup truck because we can just put everything in the back of the pickup truck. And then we don't have to carry it one at a time. So, yeah, this seems like a pretty good spot. Oh, there's something big over there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I think what we're going to have to do is call it quits right here for now because this episode is definitely long enough. Um, why is there a burning barrel out here? <laughs> Who lit this on fire, I wonder? Alright, yeah, I am gonna get organized, guys. I'm gonna bring... Probably bring stuff back here. I'll leave that suitcase. We're gonna go back and grab all the suitcases. And all these little crates and bring them back here. Um, we don't wanna go that way. And, uh, I think I'll move everything to this particular location. I mean, it's only 1.17 in the afternoon, so I think I might do that off camera. And, uh, yeah, I apologize. There's no, no zombies to try out our new shield today. That's really weird. I'm surprised we haven't had a, um, a mist event in a while. So, yeah, I'm going to do that right now. I'm just move everything over. And I will see you guys in the next episode. We'll be moved to this new cabin in the woods. And then uh, we'll take it from here. We'll, do, we'll strike out from our new cabin. And I should be all organized and ready to go for next time. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. And we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.